people welcome back to my channel i missed you guys so much i know it's been more than a week since i uploaded something and i re i'm really really sorry about that well if you're watching this channel for the very first time my name is zandi aka chubby chicks and i upload a variety of videos containing different stuff and one of some of the videos that i upload are diys of several stuff I also do food tutorials, I do workout tutorials and everything. So if you want to be seeing most of those videos here, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you click the thumbs up at the end of this video if you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a DIY. It's the first time I'm doing a DIY on this. No, the last DIY I did was for makeup and other stuff. But today's DIY will be about your house, your room or anywhere else. Okay, so in today's video, the things that I'm going to be using are wool, this woolen. I'm also going to be using fevical glue. I'm going to be using some rows of tissue. I'm going to be using my scissors. I'm going to be using some wallpapers, like any nice, any nice wrappers that you have. And today's video mainly, I'm going to be making a beautiful door rug, like or you can put it outside of your bed and I'm also going to be doing a simple DIY on curtain holders okay okay so let's get started for the door rack or the rug that I'm going to be making you're going to need something like this okay you're going to need something like this I couldn't get one because it was too small I needed something big enough to step on in my room so I got this so I'm just gonna attach it as you can see I was about to start I'm just gonna attach this together yeah but if you it's not only this you can also use something plastic I'm gonna you could just follow this video if you want to see how I'm going to do everything so just allow me to finish attaching this all right so I just finished attaching this these two pieces together so just follow just follow the video and see what next i'm going to be doing okay you just hold them like this then you get your woolen you can use any color of your choice i got um white i got brown i also got black here i've got enough to do my drug okay so i'm just gonna start with this white okay I'm going to hold it like this hold it here and then i'm going to start rolling it around I'm going to roll it around
So what we're going to do now is we're going to place it here. This is why I bought this one with some spaces in it for me to easily insert it. For me to easily insert this. So the one that I was using to tie, that's what I'm going to use. So I already made plenty, plenty of these pom poms. I just wanted to demonstrate how I did. I mixed this black and white. I mixed black and brown. I did plenty. See, there are lots. So let's just do this together. I'm going. I have this, and I have the one I was using to tie. So you're just going to pass it through there like that, you're just going to pass it through. If you get bigger holes, it's even better because it will be easier. You just pass it through like that. Can you see that? Pass it through like that and then you just tie it underneath, like underneath. Very easy, right? Very, very easy. So just tie it like that. So you're going to place everything here. Everything is going to be here. Everything is going to be here. It's going to be really beautiful. Look at that. So let me just complete it and I'm going to show you guys the final result. Okay, just give me some minutes. Okay, so I'm done with the rug. This is the end result. Yeah. So you just need to make sure that it's that the very squeezed because you don't want your rug to be spacey, right? So this is how it looks in the back. This is how much space I was leaving. So it's better if they are really, really, really squeezed because this is wool and the more you step on it, the more it's gonna be shrinking. So if the thicker you make it, the better. So yeah, that's the end result. It's really cute. I love it. And I know that you're going to love yours as well. So you can as well use something that doesn't have holes. I just used the one with holes because I was thinking if I use a glue, the glue is eventually going to stick out. That's why I used this one with holes. Okay? Yeah, so that's the result.